Hey everyone, Anthony Sequeri here with CBT Nuggets, and in this micro nugget, we're going to take a look at Unified Computing System B Series firmware updates. Ah, yes, the wonderful world of firmware updates for our B Series environment. It's a bit confusing. So let's make sense of all these important firmware updates in this particular micro nugget, which really is a slice out of our implementing Cisco Data Center Unified Computing DCUCI course here at CBT Nuggets. That's an amazing course that maps to the CCNP Data Center certification from Cisco Systems. Let's jump in. Cisco used to do something that would uh, really upset UCS data center administrators. They would take all the firmware updates or try and put them in one big bundle that administrators would have to try and deal with. Now they separate it over different bundles, particularly three main bundles. Let's take a look. Up here at cisco.com, we're gonna go to support and then all downloads under downloads. And what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll look at servers, unified computing, and we'll go to the UCS B-Series Blade Server software. If we go in there, we'll see, aha, the unified computing system UCS server software bundle. If we look inside, we see this is a... Uh, software package, a .bin file, and this is going to be upgrades for things like the BIOS in the B-Series server, the LAN on motherboard in the B-Series server. So we have updates that are specific for the B-Series Blade Server products. Now let's go backwards here in our browser. Let's start over, support all downloads. This time we'll go... Uh, servers unified computing but over in the right hand column we'll go cisco ucs infrastructure and ucs manager software aha this is going to be a separate package this software bundle is going to be for upgrading the nxos software for the ucs fabric interconnect it's going to be the firmware for the fabric fabric extenders and I.O. modules, the UCS manager itself, the chassis management controller, the UCSM capability catalog. This is how, of course, the UCS management system becomes aware of new products and new software images out there. So notice we have at this point a package of updates for the B series, we have a package of updates for the infrastructure that surrounds that B series. If we go and start over, we would go under servers, unified computing, and we would go under C series rack mount standalone. No, we're not interested in standalone. We're interested in C series rack mount UCS managed software. I know our focus here is on the B series, but I just wanted to impress upon you that there's a third software bundle that applies to the C series rack mount devices that you want to be managed by your UCS. So, there are indeed different packages that are appropriate for the different elements now instead of trying to give you all firmware updates in one big package. Now, another thing that confuses uh, students is the fact that there are different ways to apply these different updates. For instance, on some of our devices, we go and we directly apply the firmware update. For instance, the UCS manager itself, okay? What we do is we go to the active fabric interconnect and of the active standby pair and we upgrade the UCS manager directly on the active fabric interconnect and then it synchronizes that upgrade with the standby device. So I'll call this direct firmware update for option one. This is direct option one. Okay, we go and we just right over the top install the new UCS manager. We have a direct upgrade option two. Okay, and this is for components that have a backup area of flash memory. 
And so what we do is we apply the update to that backup area of flash memory, and then we go ahead and we activate that into the active area of flash. Cisco calls this process a download, update, activate, or DUA process. We download the software, we update the software in the backup flash partition, then we activate the software into the active flash partition. Again, some components are indeed upgraded this way. What would be an example? The input-output module on your UCS chassis. That's how you would do it. You do the download, the update, and the activate process because it has that backup flash and active flash partitioning scheme. Some components we don't do either of the direct options with. Yeah, we do a service profile approach. That's right, to do our firmware update. What would be an example? The BIOS in a B-series blade server. You have a policy for updating the firmware. You attach that policy to the service profile in UCS, and that is how you go ahead and you update the BIOS inside the B-series device. So, I wanted to paint you a picture in this micro nugget of the complexity of firmware updates in our UCS B-Series environment. To review, we talked about how there are different bundles of software. We have a bundle for the UCS infrastructure, things like the fabric interconnects and the UCS manager itself, the input output modules, we have a bundle for the B series, and we have a bundle for the C series when, of course, we're managing the C series alongside the B series. In addition to the three bundles, we know there are three main options that we have for performing the firmware update. Direct option one, where we just go ahead and install right over the top of the previous software. Direct option two, where we do a download, update, activate process for devices that have a backup flash area. And finally, on the B-series, we find ourselves doing a firmware update policy that we attach to a service profile. Complex, but I wanted to paint this picture for you in this micro nugget, and I really hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.